Hello, welcome to Anatomy. I am your instructor, Cynthia Sanchez. This tutorial has been made to help you navigate your course and to give you vital information on succeeding in this course. Let's begin. First, open your browser. Chrome and Microsoft Edge are recommended. Go to the Copper Mountain College website, cmccd.edu. Once here, click on My CMC Portal. Log into your portal using your username and password. When you are ready, click Login. Once you have logged in, click on the Canvas link. Next, find your anatomy course and click on it once. The best way to navigate this course is through Modules. I have set up the default so that when you open Canvas, the home page will be the same as the Modules page. Let's look at the Getting Started module. Clicking on the Welcome to Anatomy page will bring you back to this tutorial, so you can review it again as needed. We also have a link to the course calendar. Most weeks are set up in a similar manner. Notice that each week will have three chapters that are covered. Then we will have a laboratory topic and one laboratory worksheet assignment. Alternating weeks, you will also have a lab practical exam. Each practical exam will come with a unique study guide to help you succeed in these exams. Finals week is a short week from Monday, December 11th through Friday, December 15th. On finals week for this course, you will have a final lecture exam and a practical exam. Remember, these will be due online by Friday at midnight. Late submissions will not be allowed after the course has closed. Let's return to modules. Next in our Getting Started module, you will see Access the Textbook. For your convenience, the textbook is provided for you free of charge. You can view your textbook either online, download a PDF copy, or you can order a print copy for a small fee. I recommend downloading the PDF to your computer so that you can have offline access during the semester. You can also create and save highlights and notes in the online format of your book by creating a free student account on openstax.org. You can read more about that option here. Clicking on Next brings us to the next page of our Getting Started module. Here, you can click on Download the OpenStax Effective Reading and Note-Taking Guide. This may be of use to you to get the most out of your reading. Clicking on Next, brings us to a download of OpenStax Managing Time and Priorities Guide. It is recommended that you download, save, and view this document. Often, one of the most difficult challenges students have is managing their time. Clicking on Next brings us to the next page. You will click on this link. This link gives you additional instructions on how to be the best student you can be. This is a free textbook to go over at your own pace, and you should find that this information will help you in your entire academic careers. Let's go back to modules. We can see that we've viewed everything now on the Getting Started module. Notice that the rest of the modules are broken up into weekly modules, along with the dates to help you keep track. The best way to navigate each module is by clicking on the first link of the module. Let's do that now. Chapter 1, Learning Objectives. Here, you will get an overview of the chapter learning objectives. Click on Next. Here, you will have links to the entire reading, along with key terms, chapter review, interactive link questions, review questions, and critical thinking questions. These pages also come with recommendations on preparing to read, how to read, and how to reflect on the reading. Clicking on Next brings you to the chapter summary. Sometimes starting with the summary can help the entire chapter make more sense. Once you have looked over the summary, click on Next. Here you have a link to download the PowerPoint presentation for Chapter 1. Click on Download, open your Downloads folder, and open the PowerPoint. Look over the PowerPoint and take notes to prepare for that chapter exam. Clicking on Next brings us to the key terms of the chapter. Let's click on Next. Here we have Chapter 1 review questions. There are interactive link questions, review questions, and critical thinking questions. Let's look at these. For interactive link questions, 
you will have links to certain videos which will help solidify the learning process. Let's return to the review questions. Let's click on Next. Next, you will have a video made by me. For your convenience, there are no set times that you are required to be online for this course. Lectures are pre-recorded in video format. Let's click on Next. Now that we have looked at all of the chapter material, we are now ready to take our quiz. These quizzes are timed. You will have 20 minutes to complete 10 multiple choice questions. You have only one attempt, so be confident of each answer before hitting Submit. Once you have answered a question, you will not be able to go back and change your answer to that question. I'm going to change to Student View so that you can see how this would look on your screen. When you are ready, click Take the Quiz. A warning label will pop up saying that once you have submitted an answer, you will not be able to change it later, and you will not be able to view the previous questions. When you are ready, click Begin. For each question, you will answer the questions by clicking here. When you are ready, click on Next. Keep in mind that once you have clicked on Next, you can no longer go back to the previous question. When you are done with all of the questions, you can hit Submit Quiz. Let's leave Student View. Clicking on Next will bring you to the next chapter. Let's go back to Modules. Most weeks, we'll cover three chapters. For each week, there will be one laboratory assignment. Let's go ahead and look at those. Click on the Week 1 Lab Assignment. In order to complete the assignment, you will need to download the PDF. Keep in mind that you must download and save this file to your computer so that you can upload it later. So let's do that now. I'm going to click Download, Week 1 Lab Assignment. I'll give it a unique name. Now I will close the PDF file here and go to my Downloads. Now that I have opened it here, I can see text boxes. Each of these text boxes are fillable. You will fill out each of the text boxes in each of the pages, and when you are ready, go to the Print button here. Change the destination to Save as PDF. Save your document. Let's go to Student View to see how this would look on your computer. When you are ready, click on Take the Quiz. As you can see, this quiz requires that you upload your file. Click on Choose a File, navigate to your file, upload, and submit. Please allow me five business days to grade your uploads, and note they are not automatically graded and must be graded by hand by me. Let's leave Student View. Let's take a moment to look at our syllabus. We can do this by clicking on the syllabus link here. Here you can find information on how to contact me. I'm instructor Cynthia Sanchez and my preferred mode of communication is via email. You may reach me at csanchez at cmccd.edu. In-person office hours are, occur on campus in room 113 on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.05 p.m. to 4.10 p.m. Virtual office hours are also available at your request. To request a Zoom appointment, please email me at csanchez at cmccd.edu and please include your times of availability. You must have a computer that has relatively good resolution and an internet connection is required. It will be imperative that you sign into Canvas within the first 72 hours of class so that I can count you as present for this course. Let's take a look at our grading. This course is worth a total of 1,000 points. There are eight laboratory worksheets at 20 points each for a total of 160 points. There are 23 chapter quizzes at 15 points each for a total of 345 points. There will be one lecture final exam for 95 points and four laboratory practical exams at 100 points each for a total of 400 points. The maximum amount of points available to earn in this class is 1,000. I look forward to working with you and please don't hesitate to get in contact with me anytime with any questions or concerns. I am here to help and we can always set up a private Zoom meeting 
to make sure that you get the individualized attention that you need. Thank you for watching.